So the vehicle that I'm trying to troubleshoot is a 2011 Dodge Grand Caravan Crew. Um, the issue isn't really that it wasn't getting cold. It was that the compressor was turning off very quickly. Um, you do have a couple of options for testing the system with and without a gauge. Um, either of these would do fine. You will need the gauge for sure if you don't already have one. Low pressure port on this system is located near the firewall in the center. The actual problem here wasn't that it wasn't getting cold, it was that the compressor was going off and on very frequently, and yes it is supposed to cycle, but not every few seconds. So I am in the green, um, but it is jumping a lot, and that's hard on the compressor. Even though it was still being cold, and it wasn't going in the red zone, I realized that I did not need to add more R134A, so I took the can off and just used the gauge portion to release some of the pressure um, so that I could get a more balanced um, pressure in the system. As you can see, there still is some fluctuation, not a lot, um, not a huge deal, but I can still hear that compressor kicking off and on. Now if the pressure had been on the extreme low side or was popping back and forth between zero and red and you think you might be losing um, some Freon or uh, coolant, you can use a black light to check. You can see where it glows green at the nozzle. Um, that spray there is just extra from when I was releasing some of the pressure and letting some of the uh, 134A out. Um, you can see it's it's jumping again. This vehicle has a front and a rear um, AC system. Uh, it is about 85 degrees outside, so 48 isn't bad at all. If it was closer to 70, I might be down to 40. Uh, it's really dependent on outside ambient temperature. These two systems run kind of independently. You can uh, control the thermostat for either the front or the back. The back is obviously a lot warmer. Um, that's gonna be another troubleshooting issue. That really shouldn't happen. Uh, it is on the coldest setting in the rear as well as in the front. Um, they are both on full. Here you can see the towel that was just coupled under the bottom of it. There is a trigger on the back, so you can just pull that trigger and it will release uh, some of the 134A from the low pressure side. Just make sure you don't get any on your hands or of course in your eyes. I, I wear safety goggles for sure. Um, after letting out almost, it seems, uh, a half a can, it started to actually stabilize around 30. Um, with no more jumping going on so that's kind of what you want to see is just a nice steady um, position on the gauge. It did get a little bit warmer uh, as I let some of the Freon out um, or actually 134A. Uh, most vehicles don't use Freon anymore. Um, but it still was very cool and it was a uh, uh, quite a warm day. So, as you can see, uh, that rear system has, has got some issues that need to be addressed. I did eventually find out that they had tied off the rear system and probably never released any of the uh, 134A from the system when they tied it off. So there was being too much pressure built after I got under the vehicle. I think the most important takeaway here is not to assume that you're low on 134A. Make sure you've got a gauge and a thermometer so you can accurately assess the system.